hey guys game we replace games here sorry i didn't upload in the past few months and my recent video got deboosted again so i hope youtube recommends this video before anyone will make this ending so thank you guys for your support for my previous videos and most of the videos have over 20,000 views or more and I hope this one can get over 20,000 views in the next few days so without further ado here is youtubers react to Bendy and the Dark Revival ending to start off our video let's start with my best gamer alive 8-bit Ryan we start that cycle again that's all we do. Wow. I, what does that mean, though, for the conscience of this person? Look, the end. It's all here. Yo, he's holding them up for me. You see, look, up there, they're fighting. Alice is holding up. Let's go. There's Henry. I don't even think. There's Bobby up there, too. They're all so good. Oh, no, Bobby. Bobby is us, I think, actually. Get in, then. Play it! Ryan, that's out, man. Don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. I, I waited in silence for something else, nothing happened. My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. Oh, she has a nice voice. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. Aww. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. Hey, that's nice. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. She's real. Look. Born of ink, <coughs> but living in flesh. How many more can she make? Joey's world is escaping into ours. Is that what she? Is that what he wants? So, what's next? He's into. Who hey. can really say? Oh. So we started bringing the whole cast into, I guess we brought Good Bendy into the real world. So they started to merge over. First of the kind, and then I guess, use your imagination what happened next, guys. Use your imagination, you know? I guess the janitor then, he's probably gonna be gone for good. We could bring like Allison over. We could bring Tom over, you know? We could bring back Henry again. And also the guy that keeps calling us Bobby, like all of those. Oh, this is sick. I wanna see some of this outro too. That was chapter three. We first encountered them. It's like, I think it might be as we go through Porter. That was his name. I like Porter a lot. I really did. He was awesome. The darkness from within. It tried to contain, did not work out, failed. I thought this was brilliant though. I really like everything about this. The story was so good. For real, I have, um, you know, I've not been this interested like in an indie game story for a very long time. And it was told very, very tastefully. It felt like, oh, her mask was off. We could probably bring Betty into the real world. Can we get, like, a sequel where they're in the real world, you know? And, I, like, just give us some infestation that also came through. Started to come. Give us that, like, that extra part. It just feels like a big world is um, now open for anything else to happen. So many cool things that could um, be done with this. Creepy! All of you, so, so creepy. Amazing. That was so cool. There we go, Bendy in the Dark Revival. What a, what a game. Oh, wait, who's this? Is that Joe and his daughter? That's it. I think that might be it. Post credits. Well, that shot went down. You're getting rid of that jump. Wait, why was she getting rid of it if she wanted to keep it to um, bring people back into the world for good? Or maybe there's a different method about doing that. 
I'm gonna ask the team. And there's our actual credits. Hey. We'll just have to do better next time. Nah. Next time is crazy. Oh, the space bar. Space bar is a slam. The end. There's the projector. Get the reel in there. <clears throat> He has to physically watch the end. So now I see why you guys said the ink machine has time capabilities and stuff. I must have just forgot from beating the other game. Or maybe I just didn't process the information. But it's over. We reset the cycle. And all of those annoying keepers got erased and we're back in Joey's apartment I remember this from the ending of the Our other game just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it we're always free to choose and here at the very beginning there's a choice to make my father's cartoon world was now mine to rule to watch over and to protect i can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside oh snap but for my daughter me, jd i'm the first of my kind born of ink what the heck flesh she's all bouncy joey's world is escaping into ours so What's next? Uh oh. Who can really say? DLC? Hello? Okay. We probably got some DLC coming up. Oh, that's Joey and. and I really uh, forgot Al the main Al character's Al name. Audrey, that's insane. Right? Gen Corporation. something off and ran <clears throat> yeah i said this in an edit before but don't worry just because i'm texting it isn't good to see you buddy all right thanks for the help yeah i don't think it is i mean look well, big demon bendy we'll just have to do better next time. yeah like how sad is it that i just took over your whole body and you can't do anything about it the end they have a whole room made for it what the all right let's go the end the tape. Let's do this. What's gonna be on this tape, by the way? Because I don't think we know. Oh, we just blasted onto ourselves. We projected onto us. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna make the guy go blind. Oh my. Okay, wow. A little hard to look at, but. We did it. So what now? I think we actually beat the game. <gasps> We're back at the house again. What? This is just just like the ending to chapter five. Are we gonna like see us there as My like a little kid? Once oh. told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose and here at the very beginning there's a choice to make my father's cartoon world was now mine to rule to watch over and to protect I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside but as for me I'm the first of my kind Born of Ew. Me, but living in flesh. I just never realized Joey's that growing up. Is escaping into ours. So, what's next? What the? Wh Who 
can really say. We brought him into the real world? Who thought that was a good idea? Huh? Well, I mean, that, that's one thing, right? That you leave in the ink world. You don't bring that into the... Okay, well... <laughs> At least I think that's what we did. Man, that was pretty sick. That's a big step up from the first game. Like a big step up. The graphics were way better. The storyline was great. Um, the gameplay, it did have some backtracking in it. but And it was also kind of like, go here, get this. But I, I think it was a lot of fun. The only complaint I really have about this game is the combat. Like, that's it. The combat was just not what I was expecting. I was really hoping with the powers, we are going to be able to do a lot more. Like, we really only had one power, and it was the dash ability. I feel like they could have expanded that a lot, and I'm wondering why they didn't. Um, and also, just like, once again, like I said, a lot of people's main complaint with the first game was just only having that, like, thing that you, the the axe that you could swing around, or like, you know, I eventually got the Tommy gun, but I think that was like a secret, but yeah, that's my, really my only complaint. I just wish that the combat was better, but and that the powers were a little bit more used, but everything else about this game was a massive step up from the, the first game. I liked it a lot. This is one of those games that like I'll return to and I'll definitely do another playthrough of it, you know, in the future, whenever we've forgotten all of it, but really sick, man. Great game. And you can tell a lot of uh, work and, you know, blood, sweat, and tears went into this. Bending the Dark Revive. Oh, look. It's us and our dad doing some drawings together. Oh, man. I wonder what the, the I want to see the game theories on this game. Oh. oh, we close it off. Gent Corporation. Oh no. Wait, why would we give it to them to take away? <laughs> oh, I see. Look, the end. Oh, look at everybody's here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, look, the Butcher Gang. The Butcher Gang are here. Oh, it's the Hiding Girl, the one who hides. Hidey. Oh, look. Another Butcher Gang underneath Big Steve, whatever his name is. This is awesome. Oh, Porter's with Henry as well, look. The end. Here we go. It's time to reset. Oh my God. Wow. So the ink demon's always going to live because we're just going to keep resetting. But well, let's see what happens. Am I out? <gasps> okay, so this is Joey Drew's house, apparently. Joey Drew's apartment. My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We We're get out. Free to choose. <gasps> and here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon. Oh, my daughter! Is now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. Ah! Oh. But as for me. I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. What? So, what's next? <gasps> Bendy! What? You can really say. What? No way! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, okay, so Audrey. Oh my god! That is crazy! Look at these credits as well! Oh, what a freaking amazing game, guys! I'm, 
I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. That was so cool. And remember, this was an indie game. That was literally like playing a AAA game. I'm speechless. I'm going to give that. We're not even finished it yet because obviously um, we can go back and find secrets and stuff. But, man. Hi, <laughs> Wilson. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Look at these credits, bro. Oh, there's Joey and Audrey. Oh, okay. Right, we need to uh, talk about the ending. Oh, oh my God. Did someone just steal the ink machine? Oh, nice. All right, we almost got it. We almost got it, here we go. Where's the projector, is this it? Let's watch it. All right, let's turn it on. The end. Here we go. Oh man. What happened? Okay. I think, oh my gosh, it's the beginning of the game again. Oh, but it's way more clear. Oh, and this, why we were so harsh to each, <laughs> to ourselves in the beginning. It was a cycle. My father once told me, just because we're born of darkness, oh, wow. doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. What? My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and what? to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but what? living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? <gasps> oh! Really oh my God! So you had it. You have reached the.